In this video, I am going to talk about the classical linear regression assumptions. The population regression functions look something like this y i equal to beta 1 plus beta 2 xi and the error term. Beta 1 and beta 2 are the parameters and we estimate these parameters using ordinary least square. So we'll talk about the assumptions required in ordinary least square. The first assumption is that the regression model is linear in parameter. We say that a regression is linear, we mean that uh, it's it's linear in parameters, not linear in variable, and there is a difference. So this equation is linear in parameter and linear in variable. So let me give an example. We can have equation like this plus you know beta 1 xi square y i equal to beta 1 plus you know beta 2 beta 3 xi okay so the first equation is still a linear equation whereas the second equation is not a linear equation okay so it has to be linear in parameters because both beta 1 and beta 2 here are linear whereas here we don't have the parameters to be linear in nature the second assumption x values are fixed in repeated sampling that means the values taken by the regression x are considered fixed in a repeated sample okay so explanatory variables is non-random or non-stochastic okay non-stochastic or you can also call it non-random assumption number three the error term has zero mean um, given the value of x okay so given the value of x you know which ranges from i equal to 1 to n the expected value or the mean value of the error is zero which is you know to say that the error term um, equally distributed across this line okay so there is a positive term and there is a negative term and they cancel out assumption number four a uh, homo scholasticity uh, or equal variance of the error term so given the value of x the variance of ei which is the error term is same for all observations okay so mathematically we can say that the variance of the error term given the value of x okay is constant okay it doesn't depend on anything okay and that's uh, something quite important while interpreting the you know the beta 1 and beta 2 you can also you know ex understand it by plotting the error terms so the variance of the error has to be same okay so the variance of the error term should be same for a given uh, value of x non autocorrelation between error term Okay, so there should not be uh, autocorrelation or correlation between the error terms. Okay, if there are uh, two error terms EI and EJ, this should not be uh, correlated among themselves for the given X. Zero covariance between the error term and the independent variable XI. Okay, so if you take the covariance between uh, the error term and the uh, independent variable it has to be zero okay assumption number seven the number of observations must be greater than the number of parameters to be estimated so if n is the number of observation and let's say p is the number of parameters so n has to be greater than p okay you cannot have let's say you know 10 parameters to be estimated from nine observations that's not possible Variability in x values. x values in a given sample must not be all the same. You cannot have, you know, an independent variable x1, let's say, which has your same value. Let's say it has the value of 20 and all the values are 20. So such a variable cannot be used in OLS estimation. Assumption number 9. The regression model should be correctly specified. So there should not be a misspecification in the model or that will inflate the error there is no perfect multicollinearity that means one of the independent variable cannot be a linear combination of other independent variables for instance if x1 and x2 are independent variables we cannot express x2 like this x2 equal to a plus b x1 where a and b are some parameters we cannot express uh, x2 like this if we can then such a thing should not be there in OLS regression okay so independent variables should not have perfect multicollinearity so this is a case of perfect multicollinearity that should not be there so these are some of the 10 assumptions that one should keep in mind while 
performing OLS regressions.